Good morning, everybody. Happy New Year. Welcome back. Today, we will be entering semester two of our syllabus. So the first chapter is on electrostatic and there are four subtopics for this chapter. So the first subtopic is on Coulomb's law. So in this subtopic, you have to be able to state what is Coulomb's law, sketch the electric force diagram, and apply Coulomb's law for a system of point charges. So maximum four charges in 2D. La. <clears throat> okay. Um, so what is Coulomb's law? So basically, Coulomb's law states that the electrostatic force between two charges are separated by distance, by a distance which we call as R. So it is directly proportional to the product of the magnitudes of charges, Q and the, test, the point charge and the test charge, and inversely proportional to the square of the separation distance between the two charges. Okay, so basically this, <clears throat> this equ equation can also be written as, I think I need to change the size. Okay, so it can be written as K, Q1, Q2 over R12 square. Okay, so it is the same thing. Lah. Okay, so the magnitude of charge can be calculated by multiplying the number of electrons with the charge of electrons, okay? And K, which is the Coulomb's constant, is given as 1 over 4 pi uh, times with the epsilon naught, which is the permittivity of free space. And the value is given here, la, as well as the charge of electron. So, <clears throat> this... Three formulas are quite important for this chapter because they uh, usually give questions that you need to use, where well, you need to use, sometimes you need to use these two equations. Sometimes you just have to directly use this, but uh, at other times you have to apply these two equations. Uh, so make sure you know how to use it. Uh, so this figure here shows the variation of electrostatic force with the distance between two charges okay so <clears throat> if you look at here the force and the distance uh the distance between the two charges are inversely proportional with each other okay so the greater the distance between the two charge the uh wait yeah, the greater the distance between the two charges, the lower the force will be, okay? And it is, however, directly proportional for 1 over R square, okay? So, directly proportional on top. What is it called again for this type of this thing? To the product of the, the inversely proportional... So this is 1 over the square of the separation distance. Nah? And the gradient of this graph is giving us kqq. Q, right? <clears throat> right, so that's just on the graphs. Now, how do we sketch this electric force diagram? So this electrostatic force is directed along the line which join the charges, okay? So we have attractive electrostatic force and repulsive. <clears throat> so attractive electrostatic force occurs when the two charge have opposite signs, okay? So basically, negative will be attracted to a positive charge and repulsive electrostatic force is when the two charge have the same sign. So, contohnya sekarang kalau dia positif and positif, they don't attract each other. So, they will repel each other. Similarly, when this is a negative charges lah. <clears throat> okay? And the notation, you are gonna use force on by... Okay? So, <clears throat> the notation for this denotes the force exert on charge 1 by charge 2. 
Okay, for F21 pula, it is the force exerted on charge 2 by charge 1. Okay, so that is the notation that you will be using. Some reference book would write it as force by on something. Okay, this is not wrong. It is acceptable, but we are trying to standardize it in matriculation level. Lah. So we, are, we will be using this one here. <clears throat> Okay, so since the electric forces obey Newton's third law, the forces F12 and F21 should be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. Lah. So it can be written as the one shown here. <clears throat> Note that the sign can be ignored when substituting into the Coulomb's law equation. The sign of the charges, however, is important in determining the direction of the electric force when we draw the electric force vector okay so sekarang ni kamu punya sign contohnya kalau charge to negative you don't include it in the calculation however you have to still remember that force is a vector and if you see that it is pointing to the left the force will be a negative value okay all right so <clears throat> that is on sketching the electric force diagram now let's try and do example number one. So first what we need to do is we have to try and draw, sketch the electric force diagram. Lah. So <clears throat> for this one, we have a positive and a positive charge. So we will be focusing on what is being experienced on charge two because the question asks, Find the result in electric force acting on charge 2. So let's look at these two first. So both have the same sign, meaning they have repulsive force. Okay, so when they have repulsive force, both will be pointing to the other side. Okay. And then this one's going to be pointing here. Right? So label them. This is force on 1 by charge 2. This is force on 2 by charge 1. Next, we are going to consider Q2 and Q3. So this is opposite sign, meaning they will have attractive force. So this will be pointing there. And this one's going to be pointing towards the Q2 charge. Lah. Okay. So don't forget to label them. So this is force on 2 due to charge 3. This is force on 3 due to charge 2. Okay. <clears throat> so after that, we will only be focusing on this charge here. So we don't look at this charge anymore because we already know what is being experienced by charge number two. <clears throat> so now let's draw a charge here. Okay, so this is what is experienced by charge number two. F21, F23. Okay, so the arrow doesn't tell uh, doesn't tell you about the magnitude of the fossa, it's just my drawing. <clears throat> so now <clears throat> after the drawing, after drawing the electric force diagram, we are now gonna calculate the magnitude. Okay, so we have to calculate the magnitude of F21 and F23. So this is gonna be K. Q1, eh, KQ2, Q1 over R21 square. Okay, so this is gonna be 9, 10 to the power of 9. This is, <clears throat> this is 5. This is Q1 is 10. Remember, you are not supposed to include the sign of the charge untuk electric force. Huh? 
So this is 0 0.02 square, which will give you 1,125 Newton. Okay, next F23 is equal to KQ2Q3 over R23 square. So do the same thing, just substitute the numbers and you will get 900 newton for this part here after that we have to resolve it but since this is only in one dimension basically just in x component we are just going to add them together but must consider the direction of the force since both are pointing to the right both will be positive so it's just uh, f21 plus f to 3 which give you 2025 newton as the electrostatic force law. and since force is a vector again we have to have both magnitude and direction so the direction for this one will be going to the right law. okay all right so that is on example number one and basically on subtopic number one so what you need to remember here is uh first you have to understand that you have to be able to sketch the electro electro electrostatic force diagram so positive negative they attract and positive positive repel so Please remember that this does not apply only in one dimension. They could also be where a charge is here and then here as well. So this will be like this, like this, like this. Okay, something like that. <clears throat> Next, what you need to know is you need to be able to apply this formula okay and also remember that force is a vector so it has magnitude <clears throat> and direction and also remember that it can also have its x and y component all right Okay, so that's basically what I can summarize for our first subtopic.